In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the prep for print function here in the designer's toolkit. It's a really neat function and one that you'll find yourself using all the time. So what we'll do here is we'll come into our elements organizer and here you can see I have an album um, that I've completed. Now all of these pages are layered Photoshop files. So if I right click and choose edit with Photoshop elements, you can see that this is a layered Photoshop file, have all the individual layers here. Okay. So what we're going to want to do, of course, is once we've completed the layout, we're going to want to flatten all these files and save them and send them off to our lab or to the printer or the company who we're making our photo book with. Um, we're going to want to send those files off in a flattened state. Um, and so what we've done is we've created this prep for print utility that will do all that work for us. So let's come in here to Photoshop Elements, come to our Effects tab, and choose the prep for print option. Now in order for prep for print to work, we do have to have some type of image open. So we'll just open up an image, doesn't matter, some random image, and then we'll choose prep for print. And we get this dialog box. So for the source directory, we're going to be specifying where that album is. And so I already have that here in my source directory. And the target directory, I'm just going to save it for the desktop for the purposes of this demonstration. Now we have two options here. One of them is to copy the image as a whole. And then we also have a split layout option. And with that split layout option, we also have a margin option. And this is if we're doing photo books. What happens is if we, if we do a spread where an image goes across both sides of the pages, when we do a photo book, right in the middle of the binding, part of our image is actually going to be lost in the binding. So what we can do is we can add a margin on the left and right hand sides where once our image is produced into a photo book, it, we don't actually lose that image right in the binding. But we're going to use the split layout option, but we're not going to do any margin. And then we have to decide if we're going to split vertically or horizontally. Now, in the case of this photo book, we're going to split vertically. And then we could choose to export as JPEG or export as TIFF files. We'll do export as JPEG, and generally the quality we want to set to 10 generally. Now we have another option which is a neat option is we can also generate thumbnails and so let's say I want to do that I want to generate 800 pixel thumbnails and we have the option to produce a separator or not which in this case I'm not going to produce a separator and so we get a high-res file to send to the lab as well as thumbnails and then uh, we can post those to the internet for review. And then we just hit prep. And that's it. And we just sit back and Photoshop Elements will do all the work for us. So what we did is when we produced the book, we named all of our layouts like spread one, spread two, spread three. So what Photoshop Elements is doing in the prep for print option is doing spread one L, spread two L, and so forth. So it's doing a left and a right version. Now we'll go ahead and let it do the entire book. Now there's 17 pages in this book, but you can see it's fully automated. Um, it's already on spread number four. So it's just going to go through and split all these pages right in two for me. And that's going to be so much easier than having to do it all manually here inside Photoshop Elements. So you're going to find that's going to be a really useful feature. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, let it finish the processing of all the pages, and then once it's done, we'll come back and see what the end result was. Okay, so it's completed the uh, process. So let's go back to uh, our desktop here, and let's go in and look at, on our desktop, we should have a folder called prints and see we also have a folder called thumbnails so that's where it created those but if I come into my prints folder you can see I will choose so let's back up and let's do the get media option and so you can see that now we have all the individual halves for our entire album just split in two so now these files are ready to upload to our album company.
to have our book published. So I think you'll find that that prep for print function is a really nice addition um, to have. And it doesn't affect the original images whatsoever. So our original uh, fully layered Photoshop files, that remains unaffected. Um, but now we have all of our flattened files that we can send off to the lab to have printed into our album. So it's as simple as that.